Clearly, cloud has become a major component of many online applications today. And whether it's Microsoft's Azure or Amazon's AWS or any number of other cloud implementations, they tend to have very similar models. I really like this diagram. And it is from Microsoft, but again, the same logic applies to other providers. And what I like about this is that it shows where responsibility for various layers of the ecosystem exist. So for example, when we talk about on-premise models, everything from the networking all the way up to the application itself is managed by the company managing the servers. Now, as we go into cloud and we look at IaaS, infrastructure as a service, there's a whole bunch of stuff that's managed by the cloud provider. Everything from networking to virtualization. Now that still leaves a lot of stuff in the hands of the customer. So the organization procuring the cloud services still manages the OS, the middleware, which includes the web server, and the runtime. Compare that to PaaS, platform as a service, where the customer no longer has control of that. All the customer manages is the application and the data. Now here's the significance of this as it relates to this course. When the web server and the operating system is managed by the cloud provider, so this is the PaaS model, the attack surface changes. Attacks against the operating system, for example, have to exploit a vulnerability introduced by the cloud provider as opposed to the customer themselves, because the customer has no control over the OS. They have some configuration control over the web server, but the customer can't, for example, neglect to update the middleware. Maintaining patches and updates at that level is the responsibility of the cloud provider. So the risk moves. The customer loses control, but with a good cloud provider, that will be taken care of for them. Now, that's not to say that they can't configure it insecurely, and certainly we're going to look at a website implementation running on Microsoft's Azure Cloud throughout this course, which is configured rather insecurely, but it does take away a lot of the areas where customers can get security wrong. The final cloud model on the right is SaaS, Software as a Service, and the customer really doesn't have much control over anything there. They usually just access the service via the browser and configure it over the web. They're not actually controlling the application or writing code per se. So hopefully that puts this in context. And as we go through this course, I'm going to touch on these particular layers, especially the operating system and the middleware. And we'll talk about where risks can exist at those levels. So that's all I wanted to do in terms of a quick introduction to web servers. Let's go and summarize the module.